on to question number seven. What are the Okay, so to calculate the quantum numbers of carbon, it is easier to first find the electron configuration of carbon. So let me define electron configuration. This is the distribution of electrons of an atom or molecule in either atomic or molecular orbitals. Okay, so there are different steps to finding electron configuration. The first one is to divide your periodic table. Into atomic orbitals sections. Okay, so I'm just going to look this up on Google, so it will be easier to see. Okay, so here is an example of how we would divide the periodic table into these different sections. In the blue is the S, the green is the P, orange is D and this pink is F. So step two is to move left to right across the rows starting at H. So this means that we are going to first write the row number then the block letter. So the block letter is either S, P, D, or F. Okay, so another thing to add when you get to the D block and the F block, or the D block, we are going to write down the row number minus one. And when we get to the F block, it's the row number minus two. Okay, so now let's try to look at our example for carbon. Uh, let's move left to right starting at the hydrogen. So hydrogen is up here. It is 1s. Helium is 1s. So I write 1s2 to show that they're these are the two electrons in the 1s orbital. And then moving across brings us to lithium and beryllium in 2s, so this is 2s2. And then moving over to the 2p, we count out 1, 2, up to the carbon. So it has a final electron configuration value of 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Okay, so now that we know the 
electron configuration of carbon, we need to figure out the quantum numbers. So one of the rules with quantum numbers is that uh, every electron has a different quantum number or a different set of quantum numbers. So for carbon in particular, I'm first going to draw out an electron energy filling diagram. And now that I know its electron configuration, I can easily make one showing all the different orbitals. So 1s, 2s, and then 2p. If I were to draw out all of the electrons, there are two electrons in the 1s orbital, there are two in the 2s orbital, and lastly, there are two in the 2p orbital. So both of them are spinning up. So now to find the quantum numbers, n is equal to 2. And this came from the 2 and 2p. And when we want to find our l numbers, this is based on the block letter. So S has an L value of 0, P has an L value of 1, D is 2, and F is 3. So now that we know this for carbon, its L value is equal to 1. And when you have an L value equal to 1, then its ML value ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. And then lastly, for the spin, this can be equal to plus or minus half. So for carbon in particular, if we were to look at the last electron, then its ML value ends at 0, and the electron is spinning up, so it will be positive half. Let's see what the junior tutor said. So first they found the electron configuration of carbon, the principal quantum number is equal to 2, L is equal to 1, ML is the magnetic quantum number, which is equal to 0, and then since it spins up, it has a value of plus half. So I can verify that this solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.